Hello, my friends. <clears throat> my family. My uh, our, our unhoused society. The marginalized. The addicted, the poor, the homeless. The undermined, undermined community and citizens of this country. <clears throat> this is how people still live. I remember these days. So today, I did my check-in at rehab. I left the urine sample that was, of course, negative because I'm clean. <clears throat> Going on seven years and three quarters. Here I am, Ridge. We used, we used to hang out and do things, but I'm gonna mind my own business because there is some people out there that are doing something I don't want nothing to do with and I don't want to interrupt or, or frighten nobody. I'm here just for a walk waiting for my script. I, uh, like I said, I just went to rehab. I went down once again to 2.9 milliliters or 29 milligrams which was suggested by two of my doctors so now I'm going down by three next time will probably be from 29 to 26 maybe 25 depending on how I feel <clears throat> this is the lowest doses I ever been in been on I'm cutting down on my clonazepam by myself at home. I'm teaching myself to cut down, to take less. I've improved my diet. I remember to drink water. As you see, I'm taking care of myself. I'm not in a bad, messed up mode here, you know? Um, look at this beautiful, beautiful big tree. Just walking around the Courtney River. And I want to say that um, keep raising awareness and keep putting out the message that it's all possible. If you want it, if you're dedicated, if you are done with denial and uh, ready to help yourself. I suggest that you go into rehab, recover, reclaim your life, the balance, clarity, that's all you get when you go into rehab, it's a lot of clarity, so you can start making the right decisions, it's all possible, the help is out there, unfortunately, as we step into the end of uh, October, we only have uh, numbers from coroner's BC reports from toxic overdose fatalities this year in British Columbia are so far at around 1,600 deaths with two months left in the year. That means we're probably gonna be looking at around 2,000 fatalities this year in British Columbia again <clears throat> it all boils down to the same government same Trudeau administration that is allowing for all this to happen suppressing the safe injection sites suppressing the safe dope supply programs suppressing the the criminalization of small amounts, you know, our people need help with their mental, you know, they don't need to end up in a prison and get even worse. They need assistance and help. <clears throat> Most of us are not criminals. I never stole a dime. 
back in the day to get a high. I played music on the streets. Maybe I did steal some drugs from people who deserved it back in the day. Those days are long behind me. I am going on eight years in a few months clean completely from using opiates, needles and all that crap. Um, because it, at the end, it really is what it's called, junk. So, my friends, October 18th, I have tapered down to 29 milligrams, lowest I ever been at. I am uh, <clears throat> tapering off the clonazepam alone at home. It's just a matter of a few short months now, and I will be over and done with the rehabilitation medications. That ball and chain I always wanted to get rid of and talked about. I will be free. Not just uh, divorced and a free man legally, but I will be free completely of the ball and chain of this vicious cycle of mental health and addictions. And um, I want once again to put it all out there. I love you all. I'm with you all. I am your living proof, walking proof that it's all possible if you just want it, if you commit, you know, and you just decide that you want this. That's the only way you can help yourself. And lose shame. No more stigma. No more shame. None of that. This is how you will succeed. I wish everyone all the best. And remember, we have got to ask ourselves, after a few years and seeing not much change at all, still a couple thousand people die every year in British Columbia for the last few years of toxic drug overdose. So we have to ask ourselves what it is that we need to improve and change and do differently. <clears throat> since nothing has really changed and we have really all oh, everyone in the field have done a lot to help it improve it hasn't so we have to ask ourselves what is the resolutions new talks new meetings new planning new projects new gatherings of the minds and people alike and um, <clears throat> so one love, everybody. And uh, here it is to freedom from the big pharma. 